1.4f Simplify Algebraic Expressions Perimeter Problems A perimeter is actually just a word that describes the distance around an object. Some people like to think of it as the distance that it would take to build a fence around a shape. The way you will find a perimeter is by adding all of the sides together. In example one, we have a triangle. It has three sides. The sides are written as 8 minus 4x, 3x plus 7, and negative 9 minus 2x. In order to find the perimeter of this problem, we add all of the sides together. The easiest way to complete this is by writing down each side. Here is side 1. I will add to it side 2, which was 3x plus 7. And then essentially I'm going to add the next one, but since it is a negative, I bring the negative and write negative 9 minus 2x. Remember that if I had written plus a negative 9 minus 2x, that the add and subtract are a double symbol, and I would have still resulted in negative 9x, negative 9 minus 2x. After I have combined all three sides, as you can see here is side 1, side 2, and side 3, I now can combine like terms to find the perimeter. Remember highlighting similar terms can make it helpful to combine. I highlight all of the x's in yellow and then all of the y's, I take that back, all of the numbers in green. I now have three x's and three numbers. I start by combining the first two x's. Negative 4x plus 3x would result in a negative x. Negative x minus 2x would result in negative 3x. Next, I combine the numbers, and I have an 8 plus a 7, which would be 15. 15 minus 9 would give me a positive 6. Sometimes if you have more than one term, it might be helpful to write down what the combination of the first two is in the sense that negative 4x plus 3x gave me negative x and then that negative x and 2x gave me the negative 3x. Our answer for the perimeter is negative 3x plus 6. These cannot be combined further as they are not like terms because they do not have similar variables and exponents. In example two, we have an irregular shape. This irregular shape has multiple sides. To find its perimeter, we still add all of the sides together. It might be helpful to show an arrow to where the side is. This represents this short side. This one goes with the very long side, the three goes here, and the other three are more obvious. We now can write a list of all of these sides added together. I will start with the seven minus two x, or top side. I start by writing seven minus two x. I then add the next side, or plus five x minus four. The next side is a three, so I add three, the next side is plus 6 minus 4x. The next side is plus 1 minus x. And the last side is plus 3 plus x. As you can tell, I ran out of space. And therefore, you also may write it on multiple levels. Remember, we are just combining them all together so that we can highlight or figure out all of the like terms. In yellow, I'm going to highlight all x values.
In green, I will highlight all numbers. I can now combine the like terms, meaning those with x, all together, and then the like numbers after that. I start by combining negative 2x plus 5x, in which I get a positive 3x. Positive 3x minus 4x will give me a negative x. When I take away another negative x, I now have negative 2x. When I add an x, I now have negative x. Remember that negative x and negative 1x are the same thing. Next, I combine all of the numbers in which I have 7 minus 4, which gives me a positive 3. Positive 3 plus 3 is 6, and 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13, and 13 plus 3 is a positive 16. Therefore, the perimeter of this shape is negative x plus 16. Remember, these cannot be combined as they are not like terms because they do not have like variables and exponents. In order to figure out perimeter, remember you are just finding the distance around a shape. You do this by adding all of the sides and then combining their like terms. 